David uh, on a gig with another musician and we started playing soon after that. So I met him and then uh, Robin, our great saxophonist, I met uh, playing with David. on the train through mutual friends and then one day I received a phone call from David he wanted to come out and play in the park I didn't have anything to do that day so I figured nice and since then up and on we when I'm in town play together <laughs> Ashkenazi is my name. And I come from uh, the West Coast. Came to New York about three and a half years ago. I started uh, playing in the park, in the subway, soon after I got here. Well, it was not exactly the first time that I've played outside. I did before when I was a kid also in Belgium. I would go and play outside on the streets. You kind of know what to expect, you know, a lot of different kind of interactions, you know, some positive, some people who just don't care, some people who are rather negative, but as long as you spread a good vibe, you know, you get, you're usually well received. We were all on the gig, uh, we were playing in Central Park, and uh, this, this old woman comes by, we're playing. In the middle of the song while we're playing, she starts uh, yelling at us, she's like, you call this music, this is awful, this is terrible. You know, why don't you have a singer? And you know, we're just trying to, it's like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm sorry, ma'am. Oh, I've had great experiences, otherwise I wouldn't do it anymore. But um, really make a connection with people who wouldn't necessarily go to a, you know, a jazz club. And she hit my bass with her cane. No, I went over there and, and I was trying to be as, as deferential as possible because it was a very old lady and I was like, you know, ma'am, I'm sorry that you didn't like our music. And this guy sitting next to her, he sees like this guy, this young guy like harassing this old lady and he starts picking a fight with me. And he starts uh, saying, if you don't leave that old lady alone, I'm going to call the police. And he's getting all in my face about to, you know, about to throw down. So if you, if you put out a good vibe, you seem to receive a good vibe. Sometimes there's some, you know, not so great things, but that's like 2% of the time, 98% of the time, it's really good. My cousin um, is a musician in, in New York, and he has a husband who has children with uh, two lesbian couples, and one of those lesbian couples is the sister of the manager of the superintendent who works in Stonehenge. My uh, cousin and his husband have three kids with uh, uh, a lesbian couple who had the kids and then separated. So now there's four moms, two dads, and they're all one big happy family. I've I've got maybe you know a couple more years in me maybe. This is uh, this is starting to wind down for me. I've been doing it for three years, but. But you know, you never know. I mean, sometimes you know different things pick up, and you know, I definitely you know want to be playing every day till I die. Uh. 